Hi, sewing friends. On behalf of Uncommon Thread, I'd like to welcome you back or welcome you to this is part two of the Salky Puffy Foam video. This is the part where we're going to actually make a little something. It's a creative approach to an in the hoop embroidery design. We're going to put a little spin on this and we're going to kind of veer away from the traditional uh, applique approach to these type of in the hoop designs and we're going to put our own little spin on this. In the previous movie, I went over this list of all the supplies that you'll need and in addition I also covered uh, basically a um, information about these products but we're going to need the love bug it's from embroidery library www.embroiderylibrary.com they have a search field that you can type uh, in love bug or x7226 the design number you'll need some socky puffy foam fuse and stitch stabilizer rayon 40 weight thread or the poly deco thread which is 40 weight by the way We'll also be using bobbin thread, Saki KK2000, and you'll need a 1490 Schmetz machine embroidery needle. Visit Uncommon Thread at www.uncommonthread.com and you will be able to download a PDF of this presentation and you'll also be able to download the presentation from the other movie and while you're there you can go ahead and make your purchase of all your Saki supplies and every day you will receive 15% off retail of all the products. We're going to set up our machine to sew or stitch out in the embroidery mode and you'll have to install your embroidery foot. Your attention is pretty much going to be in the normal range and we're going to use rayon or polyester thread. However, if you do use the polyester thread, you'll want to uh, lower your tension just a bit and refer to that earlier movie. In the bobbin, we're going to use the regular bobbin thread and we, we will have to change that at a later point to a thread that's going to correspond. It's at a later step. Check your Always consult your machine manual, but we're going to use an embroidery needle in the size of a 1490. First, we're going to begin with the fuse and stitch. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your ironing surface and you're going to lay your fabric with the right side down. And then you're going to warm up your surface, the fabric, with your hot iron. And you're going to place the shiny side of the stabilizer down on the back side of the fabric and you're going to press that in place. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold your iron in one area for like maybe 10 seconds, pick it up, move it over to a next section and work your way around that fabric until it the, uh, the fuse and stitch is uh, adhered to the fabric and then you can add a second layer if you'd like it to be a little more stiff. Now be careful, don't get the fuse and stitch too hot because you can cause it to warp. Then you're just going to go ahead and hoop that fabric the normal way. It doesn't matter, you don't have to draw any lines in it because we're the machine is going to do all the placement for us. Now the first two color changes, number one and two, are your traditional outline of the postcard and you can see uh, number one is already stitched out and the machine is working on color change number two. So basically you're going to work through all the way to color change number six and we're going to change this up just a little bit at this point. Now I do want to point out that this design was not digitized for Saki thread or Saki puffy foam but we're going to make it work for us. You're going to remove the hoop from your machine and you're going to spray the back piece of a of the puffy foam with a little bit of Saki KK2000 and then you're going to place that right over top of the postcard. Now you can just cut away as much of the puffy foam as you need. I just went ahead and, and randomly cut it for the most part and it just so happened that it turned out to be about the size of my entire uh, postcard. So you'll place the glue or the uh, KK2000 side down towards the fabric and kind of just 
finger press it in place so it's there and it's nice and secure. You'll place your hoop back onto your machine and you're going to back up one color and you're going to restitch color change number six again and what that's going to do is hold your puffy foam in place. You're going to remove the hoop again and spray the wrong side of a piece of fabric that you're going to use for the car, for example. And you're going to spray that with the Saucy KK2000 and then you're going to place the KK2000 side down over top of the puffy foam and you're going to return your hoop to your machine and you're going to back it up again and you're going to stitch out color change number six once again. So once you've finished with that, you can cut away the fabric using a pair of uh, sharp scissors. Smaller ones work better. These are applique scissors and they work really well as also. And then you can tear away the Saucy Puffy Foam. Now, because this design was not digitized for Puffy Foam, it doesn't really tear that easily. So you might have to give it a start and you might have to hold down against your your um, your stitches and pull away the puffy foam and um, you'll get it up off and then you might have to trim it up a little bit as necessary you can do it now um, get most of it out of the way and then you can trim it up again later on then you're going to return your hoop to your machine again and you're going to stitch out color changes 7 through color change 11 now we're going to remove the hoop from the machine once again and you're going to spray the wrong side of a piece of fabric that's going to go over the back of your po postcard with the Saucy KK2000 and you're just going to place that right over top your bobbin thread. And then you're going to return the machine to the um, to your embroidery machine to your yeah to your embroidery machine you might want to consider changing your bobbin thread at this point so that it coordinates with your fabric but also kind of keep in mind um, that you have to do a test of course but keep in mind that you might have some of your top thread showing through to the bottom so this is the back of my design it's all stitched out the, the car is on the front side and this postcard backing is covering up all those bobbin threads so it has a really nice finished look. And then you're going to stitch out color change 12 so that the, the postcard has that finished appearance. Then the next step is to trim around the outside of your postcard with pinking shears and it just gives it a nice fun little playful look. It's just something a little different, something a little creative, something a little non-traditional. Now if you have some pokies sticking out from the puffy foam, you can shrink them by using a steam from your iron or using the warm or hot setting on your hair dryer. Puffy Foam is just a very fun product to play with. It has a lot of different uses for not only sewing and embroidery, but there are some other really cool things that you can do with Puffy Foam. And in these three books, you will find a variety of other projects to inspire you to get out there and use the Puffy Foam. This book, Dimensional Concepts in Saucy, is um, going out of print so if you're lucky enough to get your hands on one of these books you'll want to get it because once it's out of print they have no plans to print this book out once again and this book contains a really cool project for creating faux leather with puffy foam my name is Michelle Umloff. I'm a certified Saucy teacher. I invite you to come over and visit my website at www.sosimplified.com. When you become one of my sewing friends, you'll receive access to one of my online classes called Not Your Grandma's Bowl. I'm also on iTunes and I have a podcast called So Simplified and I'm on Facebook as So Simplified. I added a new new class to my classroom called the So Fabulous Versapad. I'd love for you to come on over and check it out. 
So we here at Uncommon Threads hope you enjoyed this project. Here's just an overview of all the different products that we covered in the first movie. We went into a little bit of detail on most of them and then we covered the puffy foam in great detail and they were all used to create our cute little postcard. Every day Uncommon Threads has 15% off the retail price of all these Saucy products and more. If you have any questions about this project, the Saucy products, or any other product that Uncommon Thread carries, feel free to email us at uncommonthread at comporium.net and remember to visit us at www.uncommonthread.com.